Okay, this is a zebra midge. We're going to be tying a black zebra with silver wire today. It's a good springtime pattern. First, I like to start the thread. I'm going, to, I'm going to tie this on a curved hook, so I like to take the thread down around the base of the curve. Next, I'm going to take some silver wire and tuck it in the bead. And then I'm going to start wrapping my thread forward. I like to keep this fly really sparse. I don't like it to have a lot of bulk. And I like to keep it pretty even for about two-thirds of the fly. That's why I like to put the wire all the way up until it's behind the bead. Now we're just going to do one wrap of thread all the way around the wire up to the front. And once we get to the bead, we're going to create a little bit of a thread, a little bit of a thread collar here. This is a midge pupa, and they're a little bit thicker. The actual in insects are a little bit thicker towards the head. That's what that's going to look like. Next, we're going to take this wire, and we're going to make a nice segmented body, and just take it up five or six turns till it's behind the bead. And we're going to tie it off. And this fly is almost finished. It's a very quick and easy pattern to tie. Now we'll make sure the point of that wire is sticking down so it doesn't cut your thread. Now to build up behind the bead, I just do I just whip finish it a couple of times. It's gonna give it a little bit of a taper from the bead to the to the first segment of wire right there. After it's whip finished, all I do with this fly is I take a little bit of head cement and I like to put just cover the body. It's a thread-based fly and this is going to make it more durable but it's also going to give it a little bit of a gloss finish which I think attracts fish nicely. Now this is a midge pupa pattern so a lot of times when the fish look like they're taking midge adults they're actually taking the pupa right below the surface and that's what this represents. It's really good to tie it off behind like a Griffiths gnat or any type of cluster pattern, any type of midge dry that's big enough to support it and just fish it right below the surface and the fish will generally take it. It's a good fly, especially in the springtime, catches a lot of fish.